Hi, I'm Kelly Lee Myers, and once again, this is a special series of videos from Shuttle Computer. Uh, today we're going to jump into building an actual visual effects shot using the assets from Battlestar Galactica. And in the end, what we're going to do is we're going to end up with a shot that's very similar to this here, but with a little bit more snazziness and a lot more vipers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is again, we're going to be working in Lightwave 3D. This is the program that we use throughout the show for all of the 3D visual effects components. And first off, we're going to go and load um, one of the Vipers. First, we're going to start with the Mark IIs. Uh, the Mark II Vipers are... Oops, we don't want silence. We want Mark II Vipers. The Mark II Vipers are the older style Vipers that most people recognize from the original series in the 1970s, um, which were used and continued being used throughout the... Uh, Storyline and plot, uh, those were the Vipers that uh, survived the Cylon attack because they were not so overloaded with computers. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and grab the full assembly. Uh, this is a Viper Mark II with Pilot, it's the original style. Um, the original style meaning uh, original style for uh, us in the visual effects department, there were various versions. We're going to use this one and it's got the full engines. We're going to load that, it's going to take a moment. And while that's happening, uh, well, you know, it's kind of done before uh, I can actually tell you anything more about uh, the computer that I'm using. Today I'm using a Shuttle XPC. It's got a 940 AMD Phenom 2 processor in it, running at 3 gigahertz. That's a quad-core processor system, and it's got 8 megabytes of DDR2 RAM, uh, or 8 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. I'm also running the uh, uh, the Sparkle uh, GTX 275 video card, again that's from Sparkle uh, Computer, uh, very very nice card, if you've seen the other videos uh, you've got a really good idea of what it's capable of handling here inside of Lightwave. Alright, so now that I've got this Viper in here, uh, let's just take a quick little look at it. I'm going to select my camera, I'm going to move around just to the side here, and get an idea of what we've got. Okay, inside of here is uh, our pilot, and if we scrub through the timeline, we'll see that that pilot is animated. And this is just a generic animation that we use throughout the show for most of the pilots. Now, this animation can be slid around, we can slow it down, we can extend it. Um, and if we want some uh, variability from Viper to Viper, we just slide the animation uh, timing back and forth to mix it up a little bit. Uh, this light up here uh, that I'm going to select right now, this is a temporary key light. Uh, we use the word key light as in it's the key light in the scene. Um, is just in here right now for me to have some light uh, that I can work with. Now we're not going to see anything in OpenGL while I'm uh, moving this around because we're just in wireframe display mode. I'm going to change this to textured shaded, uh, texture shaded solid mode and in a moment here the video card is going to update because Lightwave is basically going to dump all the textures for the uh, Viper into memory and then it'll display for me. Um, one of the other things I should note is that uh, this particular Viper is kind of an older uh, model before um, we really started giving the ships a, a bit of a facelift and updating them. So uh, some of the textures and some of the uh, geometry may not render correctly. Uh, later on in another video I'll probably go and uh, do some cleanup on this and we'll see how we can get this Viper to go from its current look right now to something a little bit more bashed up and a little bit more photorealistic for what they actually had. The uh, real Vipers that were on the show that if you've seen uh, when they're on the landing bay uh, under the wing or under the uh, landing pod arm of the Galactica, um, they actually had two of those Vipers built and I think a third later on in the show. And they really only had one or two Mark uh, uh, 7s, um, but when the show started they really only had two of these particular Vipers and just the fuselage section of the uh, Viper Mark 7, they didn't even have wings for it. So. Um, just goes to show you how uh, easily uh, you can shoot around a problem like that and make it look much bigger with a little bit of help from visual effects. Today what we're going to do is we're going to build basically a squadron or you know, uh, a small armada of Viper ships and uh, then later on we'll probably throw the Galactica in the background so it looks like they're flying away from them. So as you can see in OpenGL I've got really really good response here with this video card and the uh, uh, light is being reflected very very quickly in terms of its direction and how it plays on the ship so that's uh, pretty snappy in terms of performance but we're not really pushing the card very fast when I start cloning uh, this entire hierarchy of this ship uh, and you'll see just how much stuff is in it in a second open up the scene editor here 
and underneath this hierarchy we've got you know quite a bit of objects we've got lights we've got um, uh, in the cockpit you've got lights on the helmets uh, for the pilot you've got these lights here which are for the pilot uh, then there's a set of cockpit lights which are uh, directly located in here just give a little bit of glow on the cockpit itself I'm not really gonna get too much into the details about what's contained in here um, there are the engines though these are the various components which are basically uh, different lights that interact with the geometry of the ship and there's also some volumetric lighting properties to these lights that give us the engine exhaust out the back let's go ahead and uh, give ourselves a camera position first that's going to be a little bit more sensible for this shot I'm just going to move my camera away from this particular Viper all right and just put ourselves underneath a little bit okay that's about right these crosshairs that we've got in the middle of the screen these are basically um, an indicator of uh, what my thirds are. There's a rule of thirds in film and television production. It's basically a third, a third, a third, uh, and a third, a third, a third across the screen and down the screen. Um, this is just a, a framing uh, kind of uh, rule that uh, cinematographers and directors will go with for how they want stuff to be laid out in the actual final image. Uh, for me right now, I'm just going to put this first Viper up here right in the crosshair of the upper left rule of third area. Um, but right over top, that would actually be a little bit better. But I'm going to have so many Vipers in here that it's going to look like uh, uh, a large kind of armada, and we'll just start with this one where it is currently. Next thing I'm going to do is I've got a tool here uh, that I went and downloaded uh, recently. It's a free tool. Um, you can get it. Uh, I'll put the URL up on the uh, website for you guys to go and download it. It's a fantastic L script or a Lightwave script, and what it does is it goes clone. It does uh, clone hierarchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select in the scene editor. I'm just going to minimize all this first. I'm going to select the top null that basically has everything else attached to it that makes up this viper. So if I move this viper around, uh, everything else goes with it. Now this tool is called Clone Hierarchy Plus or Clone Hierarchy Repeat. So right now I can actually take this hierarchy, this Viper Mark II Global Null and clone everything that's underneath of it plus that null uh, say five times. I'm going to just hit OK and this is going to take a moment or two as it goes through and you can see at the bottom of the screen Lightwave uh, running through the script and it's going to clone all of these different objects the lights that are associated with it, the bones that are inside of the uh, character and lock them to a set of nulls and those nulls will basically um, be identical with the rest of the hierarchy parented underneath of it to this Viper Mark II Global Null. Once this finishes, then I can start positioning the ships where I want them. And as you can see, it's done now. And we've got this big, huge, long list of all the different stuff that's in here. So now I've cloned that five times. So now I have six Viper Mark IIs in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize all this stuff. 